Greetings. Welcome to today's 1245 devotional. And I'd like to share with you an announcement uh, right off at the beginning. And that is this will be the last 1245 devotional that we produce at least for a while now. I am very blessed that Lord of Life is a generous congregation and cares for its pastors such that when I first came to Lord of Life uh, almost eight years ago now, um, there was in the agreement of my coming that for seven years of service, uh, I would be granted a sabbatical, a time of rest, a time away, a time to um, retool and uh, rejuvenate my ministry. And uh, I am very blessed that on Sunday, I will be heading off on that sabbatical and I won't be back until August. Mindful that um, uh, that's going to be, my absence is going to be even a bigger burden on the staff here at Lord of Life. We wanted to pare down some things. Um, one, one ministry that started that I'm really excited about is our uh, communion ministers that are going to uh, help Pastor Erica take communion out to those who are shut in folks. And uh, it has seemed good for us to uh, also bring an end to this, uh, the 1245 devotionals for uh, a while anyway. They began, um, they began when COVID hit and um, I was, we were all needing to isolate and yet uh, I felt and, and I, I think many felt the need for us to um, to come together or have a sense of unity even in the midst of this uh, time of COVID. And, um, you know, in a sense, uh, this is a verse that I will carry with me on my sabbatical. And I would encourage you, though we're not going to be making these 1245 devotional uh, videos uh, now for the foreseeable future, maybe we'll bring them back in the fall. I'm not sure about that. But um, in the meanwhile, I would encourage you to set an alarm at uh, 1245 in the day and uh, just take a moment to say a prayer for your church community, uh, your congregation, and uh, in particular, I hope you'll keep the staff uh, at Lord of Life in, in your prayers, and I would covet your prayers as well if you, um, if you are so moved to, uh, to make them at 1245 each day. The inspiration for, for our 1245 time comes from Romans chapter 12, verses 4 through 5, which I'd like to share with you in closing. It goes like this. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we who are many are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. Uh, that is a, a truth that we celebrate, that is um, part of our community life, that sense of oneness, no matter where we go, what we do, uh, sabbatical, not COVID, not um and uh, I hope we can carry that spirit of oneness forward uh, each and every day. Let us pray. Gracious God, we have come so far since those days of, of the pandemic breaking out. I give thanks for the strengthening you have done in our congregation. It's not been without um, its pain and heartache, but Lord, I truly do believe that you have made us stronger in this time. And I give thanks for all the ways in which we have grown together um, as one body, even though we may have at times felt separated. I pray for those who still feel a sense of separation that comes has come out of this COVID time. I pray that you will work in and through our lives and in and in through our community to gather us together. Help us walk with one another faithfully. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you wherever you are.